remember oil and water don't mix but oil and water mixes here now I'm getting emotional if you're not a commercial fisherman or a crabber or an oysterman you're a rig worker I mean that's what we are that's who we are for generations, Cajun families in southeast Louisiana faced hurricanes, floods, and eroding lands with a fierce determination. And we are people that don't want to leave. We are people that want to stay through hurricanes. They don't want to leave our land. I don't want to go nowhere else. I want to do what I do here today for the rest of my life. But the oil spill has brought an unfamiliar chaos to the region's economy and culture. Samantha and O'Neill Savan have weathered many storms, but this is different. He's having a hard time. 29 years we're together. Have I ever seen him like this? No. And today's his birthday and we forgot his birthday. Ain't that horrible? We've never, I don't even know if he remembers. I'm gonna be 50 years old, at least I, I got to enjoy Tarbone. I got to enjoy the good land. But he gets emotional when talking about the only way of life he has known. When you drop your nets in the water, not knowing when you pick them up, the amount of pounds you have. But hurry up and you load that boat back up with ice and fuel and get out there just to, to continue doing it. That's a true fish. Savans provide one portrait of a family struggling to preserve and adapt at the same time. We had a schedule, we had a routine going, and it's all broken. They live above their seafood business on the bayou in Chauvin, Louisiana. But since the spill, they are unable to stock their usual products. And business has fallen to 10% of what it was a year ago. And that's mentally stressful because you have to tell them no, you don't have it. And then it's scary because you know, I mean, will these people be back in the future? Even though business is at a standstill, O'Neill can't slow down. To do so would be to give in. I keep my mind on thoughts of things to do around here, keep myself busy. It's bringing tension between us, I'll tell you that. That ain't, you know, it's... And try and stay on the same page. And the uncertain future is wearing on O'Neill, who is taking anti-anxiety medication now. And while O'Neill watches his father George sew shrimp nets outside, he knows he may be the last of his family to live on the water. So what you doing? You on standby? I got a shock. I got For O'Neill and Samantha's son Stanley, the spill was the tipping point. He has decided not to follow in his father's footsteps. He grew up as a true Cajun boy. I don't want to look at all the downfalls. Oh, we can't go back fishing. Just do something else. Just pick up and just go. The Savans are just one of many Cajun families struggling to hold on. But with the full impact of the oil spill still unknown, what will happen to this singular community is anyone's guess. My first grandbaby, three months old. She may never see this, but on a camera. We know deep down that's what's gonna happen. We don't wanna face that. But yeah, that's what's gonna happen. My grandbaby is gonna be the one that's gonna have to sit back and all she's gonna know is the stories and not the smell, the feel, or the touch, or the joy. And the taste. And the taste, definitely the taste. The sad part, the taste. You think I can preserve seafood in the freezer long enough for her? Mm -hmm.